Hi guys, it's Damien. I'm back from the Brittle Box Candy Company. <clears throat> this video is going to be a short, sweet, to the point. It's going to talk about customer feedback. Um, once you get customer feedback um, and how to address it if it's not exactly what you wanted and also how to keep the customers uh, that you have even when they do leave you positive feedback, how to follow up with them and get them to come back for more. So. Uh, we've been selling online now, um, as I mentioned before in my other videos, for several years. Uh, we are experienced sellers through Etsy. Um, we started on eBay. Um, we also have sold on Bonanza and Amazon, and then, of course, our own site. Um, our products are also online, as well as in retail stores and a few other venues, uh, gift basket companies, and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we've dealt with a lot of customer feedback online, and, and of course, not all of it was, was positive. But the, the negative one that we, negative feedbacks that we do get from time to time, um, it's always best to kind of follow up with the customer and then find out uh, what it was specifically about their order that wasn't right or maybe something that they misunderstood in the listing um, and then make it right. Um, what I've noticed with what we do, uh, we, we get a chance to contact the customer. We will um, offer them a free product or just a replacement product. Um, sometimes we give them a product and a store credit if they come back again. Um, you can offer them a free product uh, with their second purchase, a discount on their second purchase, um, or kind of a mix of both. Uh, you don't have to always get too down and upset about um, negative feedback. It doesn't necessarily, uh, it's not an end all to be all. Um, you can turn it around and make it into a great experience for the customer. Uh, many of the sites that people leave feedback, um, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, I believe that pretty much all of them will have the opportunity for a, a, um, a replacement feedback or an updated feedback. So if you have an opportunity to make it right with the customer, um, they can uh, update that feedback and turn it into something that was positive. Um, that's happened with us uh, before. Um, and of course, I don't think that that's not going to ever not happen again. Um, but most of the time we do get great feedback from our customers. Um, when you get something that just is not, maybe not necessarily um, a terrible review, but something that you would rather see improved, um, do, you should definitely do that. Try to reach out to the customer, uh, follow up with them with an email, and then find out specifically what it is that you can do to make it right. Um, and then when you do get the positive feedback, you, uh, you definitely want to follow up with them. I, I always try to reach out to the positive uh, feedbacks we get from customers and um, thank them for that, uh, thank them for their purchase, and always say, hey, you know, we, we hope to see you again. Um, it, the holidays, such and such is coming up. You know, always think about us. Um, we offer some new items. We'll have seasonal products. If you're a, if you're a, a hand maker of products like um, edible, edible goods or, or food products and you do seasonal products, you always want to kind of send out a little note before the holidays to let your customers know that you know your shop is is a great place to come to for Christmas, um, Hanukkah, um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, whatever it may be. Um, stop back in. We're going to have discounts. We're going to run sales um, through those holidays. Uh, with your shops online, pretty much everyone that we've dealt with, the eBay, Amazon, Etsy, and Bonanza, they all have uh, the ability to run. Um, uh, discount campaigns, um, advertising campaigns where you can give discounts. Um, it's always smart to think ahead uh, before the holidays and such to plan out um, discounts, uh, buy two get one free or buy one get one free and to run those sales just like retail stores do um, and have sales uh, throughout the year of course but really really around holidays you want to kind of pre-plan that and plan it ahead of time that you can set yourself up to make you know, an enormous amount of sales by offering discounts. And again, um, I've said it in pretty much almost every video, um, a great way to get additional marketing of your product and yourself and your business. Um, exposure is to get on the social media sites, um, bloggers, and, and everywhere in between. If you have the capacity and you have the understanding of how social media works, um, definitely open up a Facebook page, um, start a board on Pinterest, um, get yourself a, a blog on, on Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr is a great place to interact with customers um, by starting a blog about what you do. Um, if it is making food products, if it's making a craft or a hobby uh, supply, or if it's making dresses or hats, whatever it may be, 
Um, create yourself a blog on Tumblr. It's another great place to get your business exposure. Um, you can link up products there. You can utilize that platform as a, as a selling platform and, um, and make money and drive sales from Tumblr. There's all kinds of ways online in, in, uh, uh, in the internet to, to expand the, the market for your product uh, and the exposure. Uh, but just got to be willing to put the time in and to do it. I spend probably half of my day from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. Half of my day is online on the computer. Um, and if I, of course I'm not filling orders or interacting with customers, um, doing whatever I can do to get more exposure. Um, if it's contacting bloggers and saying, hey, can I send you a sample of my stuff? Or if it's just simply pinning products uh, with prices, price points on Pinterest. Um, all of these things add up and they drive sales. Um, Etsy, I always always talk a lot about Etsy more so than Amazon. Um, I'm relatively new to Amazon in regards to selling our, our food products, our candies, and our baked goods. Um, I'm still learning a lot about Amazon, but Amazon has been a really amazing marketplace for us. Um, it's such a short period of time. It's, it's literally just, um, it's probably 10 times as fast growing as any other online store that we've had, to be honest with you. Um, being that we make food products, we did have to register with them and get um, a category approval. Amazon has certain guidelines. If you're a producer of food products or candy or whatever it may be that's edible and grocery related, you have to have approval for that. So um, that's a whole other another, <laughs> another five or six videos. But anyways, um, back to what we were talking about. Customers, customers are super, super important, ultra important to your business because they are your business. Um, but more so than that, uh, the customer feedback um, is not, not necessarily a make or break of your business, but it is super important to definitely interact with your customers when you get feedback. Whether it's good feedback, whether it's bad feedback, whether it's just neutral, um, always follow up with each customer, um, each review. It takes seconds, you know, 30, 40 seconds just to follow up. And uh, from there, you can either keep a customer or you lose a customer. Um, the customers that you get with positive feedback, um, I, I always try to put into our products when we ship is a little flyer um, that talks about some other products that we may have available as to keep us in mind if there is a, a birthday coming up or if there's a celebration. Um, anything that can drive additional sales, you want to kind of keep that and give it to your customer as a reminder uh, for them to, to think of you guys, you know, to think of you. Um, and if it happens to be a, a huge celebration, Maybe a family member is getting married and they want to use your product as a wedding favor. Um, if, if somebody in the company or someone in their, their family works for a large company and they want to use your product to, to be given out or handed out their next conference, you know, that could be 2,000 products, um, 1,000 items of the same product. You just never know. But you got to always keep trying and, and, of course, keep trying to drive your sales um, any creative way that you can. Because um, it does pay off. Uh, we've had a lot of customers who have come to us uh, because they were at a birthday party and they tried a cake ball, and now they want us to cater their their daughter's wedding. And there goes 800 cake balls. That's happened a lot with us. Um, so always think that every single order, <clears throat> every order that is going out the door, is potentially going to a hundred more customers. That's the way you got to look at it, um, and that's the way you should look at it. Uh, every every order that leaves your your shop or leaves your store or leaves whatever it is that you do, um, always think that there's a potential for additional customers every single time, because um, that also keeps you keeps you going, gets you excited about what you do, because uh, you never know that next email could be you know five thousand items, it could be an, an order for a large um, corporation, it could be a large school district that may be doing a teachers conference and they need a whole bunch of what you make. So those types of thoughts, those types of ideas um, drive you to get you to go um, even more and to expand your business. So I will, I will have a new video up shortly um, that I'm going to do that's going to be very detailed on shipping, um, how to safely ship uh, food products um, because it is a little different than shipping a desktop. This is a little different than shipping a, a small electronic uh, when it comes to food and packaging and things that could break um, and can get broken, there are some really neat tips and tricks that I can show you that took about 
about four or five years so far to to actually get down. <laughs> uh, we we've broken quite a few things initially off bat when we first started because I wasn't sure of how to do it, but we uh, we've learned the best ways and some really neat ways to do that. So I will see you when we do that one. Thanks, guys.